this is Tony from Cooking Around again. Welcome back to my kitchen. Well, the last time I prepared uh, this type of fish, which is a panga, which is a freshwater fish, I had a great hit and a lot of response on it. Now, this type of fish is really, really cheap. Now, here I have about a little bit more than half a kilo, and it is about a dollar fifty if you look at an American or Canadian dollar. And here is less than six waters. So the fish comes frozen, as you can see, I will show you. It comes frozen, solid as a rock, but it is the cheapest fish that you can get here in Poland. And it is really, really good. Now, uh, normally when I cook, I use fresh fish, but because I have a lot of friends who can't afford the fresh fish, I'm using the frozen one and showing what you can do with it. So what are we doing today? We're doing what I call a fish in a lemon sauce. And we're gonna add a little goodies to this. Now, this recipe is very easy, very, very fast, and it doesn't take too much work. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the fish, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because it's solid as a rock, and it's gonna be there overnight. So we're looking maybe, what, 10, 12 hours. And through the magic of editing, we shall be back. See you soon. Okay, and we're back and we're ready to go. Grab yourself a nice kitchen towel. And I got about two fish here, two fish fillets. And it's about a little bit more than half a kilo. And what I want you to do is dry them really, really good. Like that. And grab yourself a nice bowl. And I want you to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I want you to take that and swish it all around. And you're going to find that this recipe is very, very fast. There we go. And now we take our fish. And it's very simple. We place one like this. Just move it around a little bit like that. We take our next one. And we just place it like, like that. There you go. And now we're going to add all the goodies. First thing we do, we add some fresh ground pepper. Now here you can add as much as you want. I just lightly coat the fish. And some salt. How much salt? That depends on you. I just coat the fish like that with the salt. Less than half a teaspoon. And now the essence of the essence. About two tablespoons of parsley, any type of parsley that you want, and we just sprinkle that on top. One thing I like about this dish is very easy to make and very, very fast and very, very simple. And half of a sweet red pepper and half of a green. Doesn't really matter what color you use, I just want it just to give it color. And I take that and I just place that all over like this. Look how that's starting to look yummy, yummy. And now the mushrooms. I took the smallest mushrooms I could find, sliced them in half, and you put in just as much as you want. I'm going to put in about two handfuls like that. Oh, what the heck? Let's just put more. There you go. There you go. And now I'm just going to add a little bit more salt, just a little touch like that, and, and just a little bit more pepper. Like that, and now we get some foil wrap, and we cover it just like that. And now it goes into the oven between 325 to 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until the fish is done. So into the oven it goes, and we shall be back. And we're back. Grab yourself a small pot. We're going to be making our lemon sauce now for the topping for our fish. About uh, half a cup of water. And I want you to take one cube of chicken stock or vegetable stock or mushroom stock or fish stock. I'm using chicken stock and we just crumble that in there like this. And now we're going to add our secret ingredients, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now I'm just going to eyeball it. 
and there we go and about two tablespoons of chopped parsley and now we're just going to move that around just until the chicken stock dissolves which is starting to happen right now there we go and now before it becomes very very hot we add two tablespoons of corn flour not cornstarch corn flour and now we're going to bring this up to a boil and we are going to keep on stirring until it becomes a thick sauce now I don't want you to add any salt here because you already added the salt with the chicken stock and I shall be back okay we're back you can see for me it's absolutely perfect that's just the way I want it but if you want to make it a little bit more thicker just add a little bit more cornstarch but I would basically take a little bit out of this cool it down put the cornstarch in there stir it and put that in so here's our stock now I need to taste that and see if the lemon is perfect second and it is absolutely perfect so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this on the side and let it cool and we're waiting for our fish so I shall be back and we are back let's see how her fish turned out and here it is and let's see how that turned out and look at that does that not look absolutely awesome we'll take the knife and take the fork and we go into a little corner here and we just pry the fish apart and we see that it is absolutely 100% perfect. So now we take that delicious lemon sauce that we made. You can see it's a little bit thicker now that it cooled out a little bit. And we just basically pour that all over the top. Look at that. Yeah, look how oh, that's looking absolutely delicious. And as simple and as easy as that looks, that's basically it. So I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to share this recipe with you. Thank you very much for allowing me to be with you on YouTube. And I appreciate all the comments everybody gives to me. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again on my next cooking video. Thank you very much from Tony and Cooking Around. Goodbye now.